I'm just going to come out and say, it needs to be said, this is a safe spot. I feel like this is somewhere where I can voice this to all of you. We're all friends, we're all colleagues, so I feel like it's time to get this out in the air. I'm out of shape. For the longest time, growing up in high school, I played baseball. I was in shape, but the years got behind me and it kind of fell by the wayside. Every time I go to the doctor, I hear the same speech. You need to lose some weight. It's gonna help your cholesterol. It's gonna help your blood pressure. But now it's just kind of the point where it sounds like the teacher from the movie. There's only so much time in the day for me working at home, working here, going home, spending time with my wife and family. I would much rather do that. And granted, there's been times where I've tried to eat better. I have lost some weight, but it just kind of comes full circle. But I'm gonna play devil's advocate with you here really quick. Okay. If I was built like a bean pole per se, bean pole skinny and, and, and tall, would this video be as cool? Hold on a second. Oh man, what's it doing? Hold on. Here you go. Technical difficulties again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Good, <it's> warm. <laughs> Watch it again. Look at that. That was at the Outer Banks a couple of years ago. Diving in. I believe that I am a part of a growing trend that is taking the nation by storm. Um, it's something that I've come to accept, and I feel like this group has come to accept me. And that growing trend is dad bod. <laughs> As you can see there, Adam Sandler, he is dad bod. Uh, the term was founded by a 19-year-old Clemson student who said her argument was counterintuitive, suggesting that women are more attracted to men whose physiques reflect a nice balance between a beer gut and working out than they are to men with, with, with washboard abs. Basically, the best way to, to describe it, somebody that's softly round. And that's a, a good picture there. And uh, the theory is, once a man fathers a child, he doesn't need to worry about his chiseled physique anymore. That's something that I've come to accept myself. As I see Josh shaking his head. <laughs> if you're still not sure about it, I came up with these descriptions. So think of it this way. If human bodies were cups of meat, the dad bod would skew more marble ribeye than filet mignon. Or if human bodies were sea mammals, dad bod would be more like a grazing manatee a speedy dolphin. The dad bod is more mudslide than mountain, more soft serve than sorbet, more sad trombone than clarinet, more mashed potato than skinny fry. Basically, the dad bod is built for comfort. <laughs> My doctor tells me all the time, you need to work out, you need to stay in shape, and, and, and all of that. I try to walk around the building, you probably see me doing that a lot, but like I said earlier, there's just not enough time in the day. I would love to have a gym membership, but I value the time spending with my wife, with my wife and my son over that. But for dads, working out is kind of like wrangling in your kids. If you think about it, um, you get all four that you need at a, at a normal gym when you're doing those types of things. Running, there's times that we'll be outside and Jason will go running down the street. I'll go down and have to chase him. I get agility working in too because when I get close to him, he likes to juke and then I have to juke him as well. <laughs> you also throw in lifting too because you have to pick him up and then take him back home. But for me, He's almost 40 pounds, and he's he's two and a half, and he's two and a half. So I get the power lifting aspect that, of that as well. Here's a picture of me. Funny story with that. Two, uh, the year before Jace was born, we were laying mulch down in our yard, and I was taking one bag at a time and, and laying it, and then coming back. It was very very tedious. He was born the next year in 2017, and then 2018 we decided to lay the mulch down again, and I found myself being able to carry two bags at a time. <laughs> putting them down, and it got done really quick. And my wife marveled. She was like, how did you do that so fast? And I realized that you're carrying his big rear end around the man before. <laughs> I was able to build up what we like to call dad strength. And that trip came along the way. She was really impressed with me, and she kind of marveled at it. So then I ripped off my shirt and showed her my muscles. <laughs> when it comes to dad strength, though, um, basically that's the uncanny ability of men to lift, as, I, as it says, to lift copious amounts of lumber, heavy furniture, beat their sons in arm wrestling whenever they want. A lot of times you hear the term, it's old man strength. I like to call it that strength myself. So 
So when it comes to dad bods, I believe that there has garnered a universal acceptance with them. Specifically, it's more about embracing the, the small doughy sections of your body and realizing you, know, you don't have to go to the gym 19 times a day to feel good about yourself. There's been boundless mental health benefits that come from learning to love your body and realizing that, as I like to call them, the pectoral beats, they're not realistic representation of what men are today. So Planet Fitness did a survey when it came to people's body images, and this is what they came away with. 78% of both men and women say confidence is king. Nearly four in five among both women and men believe a dad bod is a sign of a man who is confident in his own skin. Something that, that, that I am I'm pretty confident with what I have. With body, with body positivity on the rise, the National Study showed 23 million men in the United States claim to have a dad bod. 71% who believe it's universally accepted. The survey said more men with a dad bod this year compared to the last that they are happy with their body, 79 to 64%. So as a society, we've come around to accept it. Now, being a dad, for the dads that are in here, kids always keep you on your toes, and I'm gonna finish with this funny story. Recently, my son, Jace, uh, who you saw in the, in, in the picture there a while back, he's learned to keep me on my toes. Uh, for dads that know that, that's kind of comes and goes. He has a changing pad. Recently, he's got too big for it, so he likes to change on the floor. Well, he has this new game that he likes to play that when I get all this stuff on the floor and I sit down, he likes to stand up and run away and get laughing, so I can go out and, trace, uh, go out and chase, chase him. Um, I get my agility and my cutting and all of that put in, lifting him up and taking it back. Sometimes he's in the diaper, sometimes he's fully nude, sometimes he's just in a t-shirt. It's funny to watch. Well, recently, what I did know is one time this happened and uh, the, the monitor for his room was on, so my wife got to see the whole thing and was laughing uncontrollably because she saw me get up, stand up, run away, no, sit down, and all this. So it's one of those things that comes with it. Being a dad has been great. It's one of those things, you know, like I said, I've come to you to really see except having a dad bod. It's one of those things that as you come around to it, it is what it is. Um, like I mentioned earlier, you know, I'm a dad bod of one, but uh, come this April, it's gonna be a dad bod of two. Oh.